Today we're installing the Mad Jack's 48 to 12 volt DC power converter. Included in the kit is the converter itself and the pigtail harness. Now let's get started. To begin our DC power converter installation, we're going to find a good mounting location on a nice flat metal surface because it will get a little warm. We're also going to use this mounting location to measure our wires to our battery pack and to our front key switch. On this particular car, we've mounted our DC power converter to the rear frame, but you can also mount it at the front frame or in the battery well if there's available space. Now we're going to talk to you about the wiring harness. The first is a red accessory wire. All of your positive wires from your accessories will attach to this wire. The next is the main ground. This black wire will attach to the main ground on your battery pack. You also have a yellow wire. This yellow wire will attach to the main positive on your battery pack. Then you have a blue wire. The blue wire is a remote wire. This is used for radio consoles to keep memory. The green wire runs to your switch on your key switch behind the front dash. You'll also see a six pin connector. This will plug into the DC converter once we have all of our wires attached. First, we're gonna start with the black ground and assemble this to attach to the main negative. Now, using 12 gauge wire, cut the proper length of wire from your mounting location to your main negative. We've already done this. Now we're gonna take a bullet connector and attach the wire we just cut to the black wire on our harness. Now that we have our bullet connector crimped, we're going to install a 5 16 ring terminal on the end of your wire to connect to the main negative. Now that we have our ring terminal attached, we're going to finish building our harness. We do not want to connect to the battery pack until we have the harness completely built. Now we're going to build our yellow positive wire. Remember, you need to measure from your mounting location to the main positive connector on the battery pack. We're going to use a 16 gauge wire and attach the butt connector to the cut wire. Now that we have our butt connector attached, we're going to install our 5 16 ring terminal on the other end of the wire. Now we're going to build our green key switch wire. We're going to use 20 gauge wire and measure from our mounting location to the key switch located behind the dash and attach the wire to the harness with a butt connector. Now that we have our butt connector attached, we're not going to put anything on the other end of the wire for now. We're going to show you how to attach that to the key switch later. The blue wire is a memory wire. This wire will run all the way to your radio memory wire to save your presets and any memory that you want to keep. We're not going to have that on this installation, so we're just going to cap it. Next, we're going to build the red accessory wire. You need to find the proper connector for the amount of accessories that you have on your car. In this case, we're going to use a four-way T-splitter. We're going to trim the end off our wire. Now we have the option to run the positive wires from three different accessories to the accessory wire connection. Now that we have our harness built, you want to turn your key switch off, engage the park brake, and flip your battery pack into tow mode. Now we're going to use a multimeter and find your main positive and negative of your battery pack. At this point, we have laid out our harness for our converter. We've brought our yellow and our black into our battery pack. We've run the green key switch wire all the way to the front of the cart, but we have not attached our harness to our converter. We will do this last. Now we're going to take the black and yellow wires from our harness. We're going to attach the black to our main negative and the yellow to our main positive. Now on the main negative terminal, we're going to attach our black wire from our DC converter. 
as well as our black negative wires on our accessories to the same terminal. Now we're going to take our positive wires from our accessories and run those to the red accessory wire on your converter harness. Now we're going to attach our harness green wire to our key switch located behind the dash. You'll notice for video purposes we've removed our dash so you can see the back side of the key switch. You'll notice terminals on the back side of your key switch. You need to use a multimeter and attach the multimeter to your main ground on your battery pack. Then touch the positive on your multimeter to each one of the terminals. Whichever terminal is showing zero, that is your switched terminal. We're going to hook our green wire up to the blue on this one because it is our switched using a splice connector. Now we can reattach our dash and finish our installation. Now that we have the key switch installed, you also notice we have our accessory attached. We're going to use a separate converter for video purposes to show you the small pop that happens when you plug your harness into your converter. Now that you have your harness attached to your converter, you want to make sure that your harness and the loose wires are secured to the bottom of the cart. Now when you turn your key switch on, your accessories will come on with it. Power on. Your device is connected. Now all of your 12 volt accessories are distributed across your entire battery pack. You're now finished installing your Mad Jacks 1230 DC to DC converter.